At last! My deepest apologies for not being able to join the battle. Ventrinia was something of a hassle. He attacked me. It was only a matter of time before his greed got the better of him. The closer we got to Bale, the more obsessed he became with Tiernok, and with harnessing Tiernok's power, just like Gadflow did. That's why he had to be stopped, and why we need to talk about our mission. Betrayed you? Never! You forgot the mission when you died. We're running out of time. I'll explain as we go. Lead on. I'm right behind you. The winter court was still as fallen snow as the jester danced and capered. Juggling knives and torches, he sang to his lords and ladies, but none smiled. Not an eyebrow raised as the sniveling jester imitated the king, not even when he took the crown from his head. Because this was the day that Gadflo murdered the winter court. This was the day the Tuatha were born, and our people became a sacrifice for Tiernok. Fighting at your side, just like the old days before you died. carry on a duty that has been fulfilled for centuries. We keep the world from being consumed by greed, by war, and by Tiernok. The ancient beast must stay sealed away at any cost. The world must never realize the terrible power Tiernok offers. Since the alabaster wall was young, the beautiful bone-white forest was a place of peace and meditation. No piercing bird song nor heated word could find its way between the branches. Quiet thought prevailed until Gadflow shattered our land. The two Arthur's crimson axes chopped the forest for arrow shafts, and Tiernok's prismere spires rose up to consume what remained. Now our forest is shattered, and screams of warfare fill its boughs. <laughs> This is your end. When Gadflow's army arose, we recognized Tiernok's tainted influence. Only a force like her could warp eternal creatures like the Fae. So you came to infiltrate Alabastra, find Tiernok, and seal her away forever. And you used Ventrinio to get in, under the guise of being his assistant.
If you couldn't stop Tiernok, she would use her pawns to fully escape her prison, and the world would be her new plaything. You had to try, even though the Fate Weavers said you were doomed. As always, the Fate Weavers were right. The greatest heroes of winter have always fallen from the Bale's pale boughs, from Pietra the Keen to Hulgan the Hungry. When the Tuatha claimed dominance over us, heroes arose to defend winter. Gadflo laughed at their challenge and called up Tiernok's wrath. In a second, our most loyal heroes were impaled by Prismere spires. Our heroes were gone, never to be reborn, and our people succumbed to Gadflo's madness. When I found you in Dalentarf, when I saw you had come back to life, I wasn't sure how much you remembered. I couldn't be certain you would keep our secrets. I considered killing you then and there. Nothing personal. You would have done the same to me. But then I saw what you had become. I saw the new powers you wielded. And I saw how useful you could be. you could change fate. I knew you were our only choice. So I helped you continue your mission to stop Tiernok, even if you had forgotten it. But over time, I realized you weren't the same man you were when you died. You were more. You were better than the heartless commander I had known. In happier times, the Winter Court would come here to bathe in the colors of the Midnight Gardens. Night violets and pale moonflowers blossomed on a field of bluest grass studded with frost. When stars aligned, the Aurora Borealis danced for the Queen herself. But now the Tuatha have crushed the gardens and planted only corpses. The fruit of their tortured garden is only blood red. And so, instead of an arcane age, Gadflow would have an endless winter. Not the winter of the Fae, but of Tiernok's making. Gadflow has seen the visions of annihilation, of a blissful void across the world. It is not the will of own, but against nature. The ageless decay of our people has become a weapon against yours. You, the Deathbringer and Siegebreaker, the usurper of fate and twice born must become the Godslayer. Last time you came here, 
you were destined to die. This time, your destiny is up to you. At long last, Gadflo has crushed the Winter Fey, and his Tuatha rules us utterly. No longer are we reborn into this world, unless his god Tyrnok wills it so. This monster has crushed us, and our kind shall pass from this world. But our memories might yet last. When Gadflo is gone, and his god is left for another people to ravage, I may be freed from my tomb. It is the only immortality any of us may hope for now. No more delays. Now we have a chance to finally complete our mission. Let's put an end to Gadflo before his bargain frees Tiernock on the world. This must have been a lot for you to take in at once, but I need you to be clear on who you are and what you need to do. A lot has changed since you were here last. It isn't going to be as easy this time. And last time it killed you. Oh, she's a creature with incredible power. A dragon. But she is no simple lizard in some child's tale. She has a power rivaled only by the gods. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Alpha sealed her in the Amethen between this world and the world of magic. And there she went mad. As her prison weakened over time, she was able to tempt Gadflo into helping her gain enough power to break free. And if she escapes fully, it will mean the end of all mortal life. Tiernark's revenge for tens of thousands of years of imprisonment. That's why people like you and I have dedicated our lives to keeping Tiernark's secret from the world. We were supposed to keep Tiernark hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadflo found her, you were the one who volunteered to kill him and seal Tiernok away once more, even though you were fated to fail. It took every trick we had to get you here the first time, and you still died. I don't know if you planned to be resurrected, but knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised. Everyone who knows the truth of Tiernok will be dead, and Tiernok will be sealed away once again. We can return to our duty of keeping the knowledge secret. Assuming that's the life you want to return to. But if you refuse, then I'd have to make sure you never tell the truth about Tiernok. Of course, I'd rather it didn't come to that. But you would have done the same. Ha! Huh. I have more important things to do than love. And so do you. But I do trust you with the fate of my world. It may not set your heart a flutter to hear it, but it'll have to do. Lead on. I'm right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> 